Colitis is a medical term for inflammation of the colon. Inflammation can be caused by infections, poor blood supply, and certain autoimmune reactions. This video focuses on causes of infectious colitis. Infectious colitis often begins when certain viruses and bacteria find their way into the intestines. Most come from food or foodborne illnesses, also known as food poisoning. Symptoms can include bloody diarrhea and significant dehydration. Parasite infections are another possible cause. Parasites can enter the body in contaminated water, which is often found in lakes, rivers, and unclean swimming pools. Parasites are also sometimes present in water from a well or a cistern. A third common type of colon infection is known as pseudomembranous colitis. This variety is caused by a specific bacteria called Clostridium difficile, which is pronounced several different ways depending on the country you're in. Healthcare professionals often abbreviate or shorten the name simply to C. diff. Pseudomembranous colitis is typically found in patients who have recently taken antibiotics for an infection or have been admitted to the hospital. Antibiotics kill the necessary amount of so-called good bacteria in the colon that facilitates normal digestion. This allows an overabundance of the C. diff bacteria, which produces a toxin that causes diarrhea and possibly a fever. Besides diarrhea that may or may not contain blood, other symptoms of an infection in your colon are likely to include the following. Constipation, frequent and small bowel movements, abdominal pain and cramping. The purpose of this video has been to provide quick, basic answers to the question, how do you get an infection in your colon? For additional information, see links to related resources below the video screen. But remember, you should always rely only on a doctor to diagnose any symptoms you may be experiencing.